Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com. Today I'm going to be recording for all of you a quick tutorial video on how to prepare your iPhone in case you're going to be traveling out of the country. I've heard of a lot of clients of mine who have gotten whether it's on a cruise or they've just gone on a trip to Europe, they get back and they have a $500 phone bill, which is something you obviously don't want. Now, the first step is you are going to have to call your service provider, whether it's AT&T, Verizon, or whomever. You're going to need to tell them that you're traveling out of the country and that you need to sign up for their international plan. Now, some businesses, some companies will do a phone and data plan. Others will do them individually. Still, I would recommend doing both just to cover yourself just in case. You do not want that $500 bill waiting for you when you walk in the door at home. Now, on your iPhone, here's what you're going to need to do to prepare. Go into Settings. Now, from Settings, go into General. Next, go into Cellular. And this is what you really want to do when you get on the plane. Here at the very top where you see Cellular Data, you're going to want to turn that off. And also, at the very bottom, make sure that Roaming is turned off as well. Now, one way that you can make calls while you're overseas and not pay an arm and a leg is to use something as simple as Skype. So before you leave on your trip, go to Skype.com, log into your account, and you can sign up and just put in $10 worth of credits uh, if you're going away for like a week, maybe a little more if you're going for longer than that. And what you're going to do is pay a very low flat rate, and when you get to your destination, log into Wi-Fi on your phone. So obviously you would need to be staying in a guest house or a hotel, somewhere where you would have access to wireless internet. Now once you do that, go into Skype and at the very bottom, you can see I'm actually on it right now, but at the bottom it says cell phones and that brings up your dial pad here and you can just type the phone number as you normally like it. If you have the person in your address book, this little icon right up here up top will access your phone book. The one thing you do need to know is if you use Skype as a phone, when the person uh, you're calling gets the call, the caller ID will not be your normal phone number. It'll be a weird, funky number. So just tell them to be aware of that. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. If you have not yet checked out our service, please do. We are a free public service, and we teach live Mac, PC, iPhone, and iPad classes that you can attend as many as you want uh, from the comfort of your own home. This is David A. Cox, and you all have a wonderful day. Take care.